After receiving critical acclaim for his previous short film, Northern Lights, Manchester-based director Nicholas Connor has now returned with his latest work entitled Cotton Wool, a heartwarming short film that revolves around the struggle of coping with the after effects of a stroke. You see, the wires in your brain now are completely different, so you won't always be able to get out what you're thinking. I got the chance to speak to Nicholas in our cinema to talk about the success he has been receiving and how important it is to be aware of when a family suffers from a serious condition. Nicholas, thank you for coming in today. Thank you very much for having me. So your film Cotton Wool has received a lot of success from film festivals and awards. So it's won awards at the LA Film Awards and the UK Film Review Best Short 2018. So do you think it was going to be this successful? I didn't expect it, in honesty. Um, I kind of made the film um, to get the message out there of stroke survivors and child carers, and the kind of success it's followed, we've been very fortunate. So you're 19 years old as well. So that is really young to be receiving the success that you have. Is there any pressure for your future projects that it should reach the same standard that Cotton Wool has? It's definitely a, it's a hard problem to find because you're kind of wanting to make a film that's new and original while people are kind of wanting the exact same thing that you gave them the last time. Uh, like you, you don't want to make the McDonald's hamburger of films where you're just giving them the same thing every time. I want to make something um, original next but that brings in that similar aspect we had before. And how did you manage to fund the film? Where did it all begin? So we were very fortunate in that Chero Productions financed the film um, and they came on board um, after a film called Northern Lights which we made and they said in the edit, what would you like to do next? And I kind of pitched this idea, came back and we were like, let's do it. And we shot Cotton Wool and Northern Lights within six months of each other. It was very, very fast. but. Um, and I was doing my A-levels at the time as well, so it was uh, wow. very full on. But um, yeah, I was very lucky. And you've experienced making your own films and directing well-known stars such as Benny Dorm's Chrissy Rock and Liam Best. So how was that, working with them? It was incredible. I mean, they bring so much to the table, you know, everything they bring to the table is kind of nuanced and you know Chrissy would bring her like a comedic tone which she's so known for and Leanne would bring these little little things that are like subtext based and um, elevate the script you know because it'd be quite dull it was absolutely incredible to watch because everyone brought something new you know with little Max he was only six and he just you know he was a barrel of laughs bringing so much to the table which I didn't expect from a six-year-old. Your film talks about life after a serious condition. The mother in the film suffers a stroke. How was it sort of conveying that message? You want to do justice to that story um, and to the people that are actually struggling with it because at the moment, and, you know, I'm a layman to this. I'm very much um, looking at it with outsider's eyes. We did what we could in terms of the time frame. And do you think there are enough films out there at the moment showcasing untold stories? Ken Loach and Mike Lee are kind of you know, at the forefront of that, you know, I, Daniel Blake and Peterloo, you know, Peterloo is, you know, changed the world, democracy, never mind, just British democracy, and it all started in Manchester. I mean, I'm talking specifically Manchester because I'm from Manchester, but, you know, these untold stories of um, people who've changed the world, there needs to be more of it. And final question, what advice would you give to aspiring filmmakers to get to your position right now? fail constantly and learn from that failure, fail, fail, fail. No one's perfect when they first make it something. Hone in your own work, what you're interested in, you know, community, love, family, that's for me. If you want to make a film about, um, you know, explosions and murder and, you know, that's your thing, go and do it because people will appreciate it. Cool, thank you very much and I wish you all the best for the future. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you.